are you guys doing today? It's me, Anthony Toronto, with AJTFX Learning. In today's video, I actually wanted to do a whole platform overview of TradingView. You know, this is actually one of the platforms that I love to use just because it's a lot more user friendly than MetaTrader 4, and it definitely helps us when we're marking up our charts within our currency pairs. So, pretty much in today's video, we're going to do a whole TradingView platform overview. And for those individuals who don't know what TradingView is and want to actually do this with me, in the description below, I'm going to make sure to add a link where you'll be able to click that and it'll access TradingView. But before we could actually jump into that, one thing that I want you guys to do if you haven't done so already is stay connected with us on social media, whether if that's Instagram, Snapchat, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all of which can be done at AJTFX Learning. And for those individuals, make sure to visit our website at AJTFXLearning.com for some great trader tips and taking things to your next level. So pretty much just give me one moment as we jump into TradingView. In today's video, we're going to continue lesson two on our platform overviews and do a complete platform overview of TradingView, one of the platforms I like to utilize, not only because it's easier to navigate, but it's a lot more user friendly than MetaTrader 4, as you'll see. Now, one of the things that I do want to remind you guys is that, unfortunately, TradingView, you cannot execute your trades from TradingView. So what you'll do is, for me, example, I usually have my phone right next to me or I'll have my web-based platform for MetaTrader to execute my trade based off of the analysis that we do complete on TradingView. So the first thing that I actually want you guys to do is actually create an account. Now for those individuals interested in upgrading to Pro, feel free. You do have access to a little bit more tools, but you'll be able to utilize the same tools as a free user than the Pro user, which we're literally going to emphasize on. So there's no need to actually upgrade just if you guys want to save your money. Now, for those individuals who upgrade to Pro, great. You know, I love Pro as well, but let me just sign in. But for those individuals who haven't done so already, make sure to stop this video, complete your registration, so we can continue moving on forward. So I'm actually going to sign in through Facebook. Perfect. So pretty much what you're going to notice on this main screen as we scroll down are different types of traders placing their analysis. For example, this individual right here is trading the USDJPY on the four hour chart, and he's pretty much waiting for the breakthrough of this trend line to continue on to the sell. And this individual right here, he's trading EURUSD on the 60 minute, which is the hourly time frame. So, as you can see, there's different traders who may have different trading techniques, different strategies, different ways to trade. This one's based off of channels. This individual likes to use different <laughs> indicators. As you can see, you know, it looks pretty messy. So we like to make sure that our charts are as clean as possible, just so it doesn't, you know, drive us nuts. But as you continue going on forth, you'll be able to see that different people do place their analysis of what they believe is going to happen in the market. So once we start scrolling up, one of the things that we'll be able to actually do is dive into the currency pair that we want to look at. To do that, you're actually going to select on this portion that says Charter Quote and type in the currency pair that you would like to do your analysis on. Now for this case, we're just going to do the New Zealand USD, so NZD USD, and you're going to select Forex FXCM. Now something that I do want to keep in mind is once you do save that analysis, you'll be able to access it right here where it says chart. So once you log into TradingView, you'll be able to select here, you'll see the, the, the tab come down with NZD USD, and you'll be able to select your analysis. But since we haven't saved it yet, we'll just get into NZD USD. Great. So pretty much, you know, one thing that I like to do is just delete this bottom portion. You know, it's kind of pointless to have and it looks a lot cleaner. You know, one thing you'll notice is my Japanese candlesticks are actually a different color and that's just based off, you know, psych color psychology. You know, personally, I'm the type of individual who likes to trade when I'm relaxed, I'm calm. You know, I don't like to trade out of emotion, so I like to make sure that my color scheme is set so it doesn't really impact me. Because if you notice, with MetaTrader 4, you do see a lot of reds flicker, flicker, you know, and that's just pretty much to trigger you and get you into a trade that probably you shouldn't have gotten into, right? So pretty much, if you are interested in changing it to a different currency pair, you could actually do so not only by going back to TradingView, but in this portion right here, where you'll highlight it, delete it. An example, if we want to put in Euro USD, you'll do that and select Forex FXCM. 
The next thing that you'll see as we continue moving on right is the time frame zone. We're currently we're on the five minute time frame, but once you select that, you'll be able to navigate through, let's say the 30 minute, the hourly, the four hour, and later on as we continue our markups, it's also great to get that bigger picture. So we're actually gonna be utilizing a lot of these different time frames when doing our markups, just so you can see what's going on overall in the market. So for example, later on, I'll actually show you guys how you can actually change the colors of your candlesticks, but for those individuals who need to change the chart, per se, later on, we might use the line chart for one thing, the candlesticks for another, you'll be able to do so right here. So as you can see, we're currently in our Japanese candlesticks, but if you select it, you can switch that to the bar, you can select that, switch it to the line, you know, and we'll use these different things for different points when marking up our charts. Now this portion right here, which actually gives you the chart properties, is where you can actually change your colors of your candlesticks. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is go back to my candlesticks, select it, and as you can see, the main colors of my candlesticks are obviously the blue and the gray. So this is one spot where you can actually change your candlestick. So let's say right here, I want to change it. Let's say if it was red, you can see that now the candlesticks are red. But I'm actually going to leave it back on my blue because I love feeling, you know, more relaxed. For some reason, I put it on red and I already felt, you know, <laughs> that overwhelming sense. So as we continue, you know, you could actually move on to your background. If you want to change your background color, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, it's not one thing over the other. Whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you feel soothes you, calms you down. A lot of people do like to trade with that red color scheme or with a black background, you know. So whatever you feel comfortable with, feel free to change it and change it and alter it to your, per to your preference. So as you can see, we can move on and change it to the different time zones. And pretty much from there, nothing much is too important. So as we continue moving on, one thing that you'll be able to see is this indicators folder. Now, right now, we do not have any indicators in our TradingView platform. But for those individuals, let's say later on, as we dive into our indicators explained session, which is that bonus feature in our academy, we'll literally go over the ADX, the RSI, the moving average, you know, and all these different things, indicators that you can utilize to help you in your trading strategy. But for this case, let's say we want to use a moving average we'll just type in moving average you can select it and as you already see it's already placed onto our chart so we can exit and we'll be able to actually fix it by selecting format which is right here so one thing that I want to do let's say is that I want to make this line a little thicker just so I can see it maybe I want to make it a darker tone perfect and let's actually make this currently it's on the 9 EMA I know one of the EMAs we go over is the 8 so we could select that. Perfect. So now you see that your EMA is there, your moving average. To actually take it out, all you have to do is press the X. Perfect. So on your far left, you'll actually find your tools that you'll utilize. So for example, right here we have our crosshair. We'll, we'll be able to literally point the time and price that the candlestick was on. And as we continue moving down, we'll actually have access to all the different lines we can use, whether if we're doing our markups using the horizontal lines for support and resistance, or if we're using the trend lines waiting for a breakthrough. You know, for example, let's say right here, we draw a trend line, I select the trend line, select the point, and just draw it, and then just click it again and we'll be off. So for this case, right, what we see is we see that movement on the uptrend, but what we're looking for is that break of trend, right? So right here where the market finally breaks the trend, this would be our opportunity to sell the market. Later on, we'll go into trend lines, you know, and different trading strategies based off of channels and trend lines as well. Just wanted to show you guys how it works. So also, right here, you'll find your horizontal lines where you'll use, you know, your structures, your support and resistance and so forth. But as we continue on, right here, we'll have our pitchfork and all our different tools, including our re Fibonacci retracements levels. So for example, right here, we'll use our Fib retracements. Let's say we usually use those on the four hour, the higher time frames. So let's just say for this case right here, we'll draw our Fibs. And you can see, boom, right here, we'll draw it from the low to the high. And you can see right here, the market's actually holding at that 50 percent right at that 50 level 
Later on, we'll have our lesson where we'll go deep into FIB levels, you know, not only the 38.2, the 50, the 61.8, but just other key levels to look out for when trading based off of Fibonacci. So pretty much the next thing that we can actually look out for is right here where you'll see the brush tool. I actually use this area because I use the rectangle and we're going to use lies that when we're drawing our supply and demand. So as we draw our supply and demand, let's just say for this case, we can draw, let's say our square, we'll select and we'll just select it right there. Later, I'll pretty much show you guys how to draw supply and demand. But for this case, I'm just showing you guys that we can just draw the square, double click it, and we'll be able to continue the square by just adding a few zeros, making sure this number is a positive number and not a negative number. So as you continue on, we'll be able to see that if the market does hit that level, it might touch this supply or demand zone and boom, go drop down or go up. So to also delete that, you just click it and delete. You know, it's a lot more easier than rather going to MetaTrader 4 and then where you have to go to indicators or the objects tab and then find it and then delete it. Here it's a lot more easier, user friendly, and that's one of the main reasons I do like it. So as we continue going down, you could add your text, you can move into your harmonic patterns, you know, your head and shoulders, all these different things. But if you look on the far right, you'll be able to actually save the chart markup you create. So in this portion right here, we'll just type in NZD USD press OK, and it's actually saved. So one of the things that I do like to use over here is actually the calendar. Let's see if we could find it. Right there, boom. And what the calendar actually does, it shows us all the different um, news events that may be going on. Usually you'll actually find it coming down if it gets to that level. So for example, if uh, a news is coming up here, let me just... I don't know, let me delete some of that stuff. Just give me one moment, there we go. <laughs> so if a news is coming up, you'll actually see it appear on the bottom screen right here. So that's definitely something to look out for when placing your trades and realizing that the news may come up, right? So pretty much guys, this is just a quick overview of some of the key essential things we're gonna look out for in TradingView. Like I mentioned, some of the different time frames, changing the color of the chart properties, utilizing some of the tools into your price action. So hopefully this right here was a basic understanding of how we're going to utilize TradingView in conducting our analysis. As we dive deep into each of the different things, whether if it's a trend line, support and resistance, confluence trading, you'll notice that I'll move from TradingView to MetaTrader just so you guys can see and get a better understanding of how everything works. But for this case, this is just a complete overview of TradingView and all the different tools that we're going to utilize with it. So I hope you understood it. I hope you liked it. And if you guys have any questions, any doubt, feel free to contact myself for support with any questions. So this is me, Anthony Serrato, logging off. And I hope to see you on the next one.